YouTube. So, um, I've been watching a video by Survival Emily about her go bag, um, her car kit. Um, the basics of what she keeps in her car just to help her survive if her car breaks down or if like a hurricane comes. Not that there's too many hurricanes in Sweden, but you know, a really bad storm and she needs to get out of the area pretty fast. What she, what her basic carry is. And that got me thinking, you know, it's been forever since I made a video. How about we make a video about what I carry in my standard hiking bag? Um, my basic hiking bag is honestly enough just an old book bag. I can carry up to 20 pounds in this, decently padded straps. I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable thing after hiking all day with, with 20 pounds on your back, but it does work. Um, especially considering how much hiking Silver Wolf and I have done this summer, just to get ready for our honeymoon in Iceland next year. So what do I carry in this bag? What never leaves this bag, especially when I'm out on the trail? Um, I've got a basic first aid kit. Um, Band-aids, rubber gloves, a little flashlight, um, a lighter, some alcohol wipes, some alcohol swabs, um, some, a couple of needles and thread, a little ball of aloe vera gel. Um, this is good for bug bites, stings, burns. Um, yeah, there's even a few condoms in here, because there's unlimited uses for condoms beyond the obvious. Um, some anti-diarrhea medications and pain relievers. So that's very so that's my basic first aid kit. That's my basic carry every time I'm out on the trail first aid kit. Um, my inhaler because I actually have exercise induced asthma and this has been a real benefit to me this summer as we've been training. I had not had an inhaler until this year, but finally got got in, talked to a doctor about it, and finally got an inhaler. Um, which basically this is just to help keep down my exercise induced asthma. When I get huffing and puffing too hard, climbing a hill too hard, my throat goes like <sighs> So, it makes it hard to breathe. Um, I keep a couple of maxi pads. I mean, beyond their obvious use, these can be used as emergency first aid items. These can be used for tinder um, to help start fires in case of an emergency. And that's actually it for the main part. I keep an old handkerchief um, in a bright color. I mean, you can use this for your hair, you can use this to bind wounds, you can use this for, I don't know, a little shoulder, throw it over your head. Um, and it's a bright color, so this can be used for signaling, which is an important thing. Especially if you get lost on the trail, which that's why you don't walk off trails. Stay on well marked trails. Water, granola bar, this happens to be a cliff bar, obvious reasons why you would keep those. But now let's get into the meat of it, as in what's going to actually help me survive a night if I'm out stuck on a trail. This is my main survival kit. This is a stainless steel container. Um, doesn't have a lid, but it's a stainless steel metal container. Um, so obviously I can boil water, I can cook stuff in it. I can probably even shine up the bottom or use the side and use it for signaling. Um, it is heavy, it is big, it is bulky, which I realize that to like an ultralight hiker, this would not be a good thing, but I'm trying to build up my strength. So having a little bit more weight this summer, at least while we're training, I don't mind. Um, I've got a great big garbage bag. There's a million and a half uses for garbage bags from helping build shelter, um, wounds, clothing. Oh, I mean, there's a million and a half uses for garbage bags. Sanitation. I've got a polyester blanket. This happened to me from the. I happened to snag this from a flight that Silver Wolf and I took um, when we were coming home from Oregon last year. Last year. Um, it happened to be a red-eye flight back from Oregon, and they had all these all around. They're like, yeah, take them. Just like, take the soaps of the hotels. So that's what I got. And, I mean, insulation, shelter, comfort, and because it's a bright color, signaling. Got some string. There's a million and a half uses for string, cordage, wound binding, survival stuff. Now, yeah, I would have to undo it and, um... 
get it out of a knot, but at least I have it. I have a basic compass. This is from Coleman, actually. Um, again, Sullivan Wolf and I are big about staying on the trail, staying on the marked trail. But push comes to shove, in that emergency, if we do get lost, we'll at least be able to find Magnetic North and hopefully find our way out. Um, just knowing the way that the roads run in Columbus and in central Ohio and in the areas that we hike. I've got another very simple first aid kit. I picked this up at a festival when their nation would happens to be a big um, supporter of the LGBT here in Columbus. Um, they've got, they always have a tent up at Pride, so they happen to be giving out little first aid kits um, to advertise their insurance, so I happen to pick one up. I've got a small folding knife. This is um, the Bear Grylls Gerber knife because my brother gave me the gave me actually a set of two knives, a mini one and a bigger one. I keep the bigger one in my car. I keep this mini one in the in the survival kit. But for what's worth, this is a decent folding knife, and you never know when you can use a knife when you're out on the trail. Um, in an emergency situation, million and a half uses for a knife. Um, and this is kind of like my second, this is my backup knife, because I do keep my multi-tool on me all the time. I've got a little knife sharpener. Picked this up at, a, I think it was an auto parts store, actually. It's really, it's a small one, it's a cheaper one, but it has gotten my knives pretty sharp. Got a, um, an ace bandage. This is um, basic first aid, tying up wounds. I'm sure there's also a million and a half things that you can do with an ace bandage. Uh, allergy medication. Stings, bites, you never know. You accidentally ate the wrong mushroom and suddenly your throat is swelling shut. But attached to that, I have 30 pound um, fishing line. Again, this is another source of cordage. It's up to, it can hold up to 30 pounds, therefore it's pretty strong. Another can, uh, candle, a million and a half uses for a candle, can sustain your tinder, help get things lit, um, easy source of fire, and it's a source of light. And I've got another lighter. So, how does my um, wilderness survival and general carry in my hiking bag stack up against what true birch crafters and true survivalists would say you need. Well, I think I'm covering the basics, at least. Um, I've got a cutting tool. I've got combustion. I've got containers. I've got cordage. And from this, I, can, I know for sure I can build shelter. I know for sure I could light a fire or next to sure. Um, you never know, in those super wet conditions sometimes, it can be hard to start a fire, which <clears throat> is probably something I ought to practice again, so that might be an upcoming video. Um, I can boil water once I get that fire started. Um, I can gather water, again. I can gather water, so I can survive. Um, and I have first aid, so I do have care included in that. Could this survive, help me sustain a week? Eh, give or take. Depends on the situation. A lot of factors go into that. Who knows? Maybe, possibly, probably not. I don't know. I've never actually been in that situation, and I'm very lucky in that. But part of luck is also smarts. Again, Silver Wolf and I stay on marked trails. We don't... We attempt to limit our possibility of needing survival shit survival stuff. Um, yeah, this is heavy. This is two, three pounds, maybe more. But again, since I've been training all summer, I've kind of needed the weight just to get my body used to it, get my back stronger, get my legs, my shoulders, my neck stronger. So, that's it. That's my basic hiking bag. This probably weighs 10 pounds right now with the bottle of water and everything. 
Um, usually I carry up to 20 when I'm hiking. Um, but again, that's to build up my muscles. So that has been this video. Peace out, YouTubes.